Hi, my name is Kevin Rehm. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of Crown Line Boats. And we're here today to do a product walk around video on our exciting brand new E23. Now in 2018, we launched both the stern drive version and the sister craft version, the outboard E23XS. These boats are both brand new. And when I mean brand new, I mean all new decks, all new hulls, all new upholstery, uh, all new social swim transom design, a longer list of standard features. And both of these boats is built on our new performance fast tab hull platform. So we're very excited about these boats. So I look forward to taking you through from bow to stern, all the exciting features about this brand new boat. Now, by the way of background, specs, 23 foot LOA, 8.6 beam. The weight comes in about 5,100 pounds, which is more than a thousand pounds heavier than anybody in our uh, peer group. The reason our boats are heavier, because our shear is deeper. Our boats are bigger and deeper than any of our competitors. Also, we have a 19 degree uh, transom angle at the de dead rise angle at the transom and a 39 degree angle of entry at the bow. So again, sit back and enjoy the next few minutes as we take you through this exciting new E23. Starting in the rear of the boat, uh, quite a few features to we'll talk about here on the transom. First, full length swim platform with non-slip mat. It will have a four step telescoping ladder with a built in non-slip grip. We have a social swim transom design uh, on our E23 with a full length ski toe rail and eye. Have a rope locker, self-draining over here on the rear port side. A standard battery charger and transom shower. So again, if you've been, boat, uh, been boating all day, maybe you were uh, tied up at the sandbar, has, had lunch uh, on shore and then swam out to your boat, the transom shower allows you to shower off any uh, dirt, sand, debris that you might have right here in the back of the boat so you don't carry any of the dirt into the cockpit. One of the things that separates Crownline from its competitors is the way we finish out our product. And one of the things I'd like to draw your attention to is the stainless steel air intakes that we locate underneath our deck vents and also the stainless steel uh, deck accents uh, with the wire meshing. So these are things that we do to finish out our product uh, that our competitors use either chrome, uh, chrome over plastic or plastic altogether. Crownline, we never cut corners, use only 304 stainless on the air intakes and on the deck vents. As we transition into the cockpit, there's a few subtle design philosophies that really separate Crownline from all of its competition. And I like to take the time to point these out. First, it's our stainless steel transom gate. Now this is a great design because it allows to close off the cockpit from the rear of the boat or the transom. So parents with small children uh, that may, maybe don't want their toddlers to have access to the rear of the boat uh, can easily close off the cockpit with this flush mount uh, transom gate. So it's a neat little feature. In addition to that, you have the full, uh, you have the soft touch mat, the non-slip uh, that extends on both of your stepways into the cockpit. You have a conveniently located grab handle here, a storage combing box, and this also gives you access to the fingertip control for your electric seat base. Okay. One of the other nice features of this design is the insulated built-in cooler that's located directly behind the driver's chair. Now, this cooler area is insulated on three out of four sides and it's self-draining and drains to the bilge. So if you can carry on your ice, your drinks, uh, any of your perishables, you can pack this up with ice. And it'll last you the entire day. And as it slowly melts down and drains, it drains to the bilge and excess to the boat. This cockpit design is what we call a soft J-wrap. Uh, again, the feature is the uh, electric sunbed that lays out to nearly a six foot sunbed without the use of filler cushions. Now, one of the nice features about this cockpit layout is this oversized cushion is on what we call scissor hinges, what I call hands-free. So it allows access in and out of the storage without having to use one of your arms to support the cushion. It's self-sustaining. So that allows you to load items in and out of the boat uh, very easily. Second, I'd like to show how deep the oversized storage is. So stepping down, hits th uh, high on my thigh. And this speaks to uh, one of the things that we talked about in the entry of this uh, video is just how much bigger, deeper, and heavier our boats are. And that's because the overall shear, the depth of our hull designs and deck designs is much deeper than our competition. That's why our boats primarily are heavier. But the benefits to that is the deeper floor storage in both the cockpit and the bow and also the depth in the overall head compartments. So this is where we ship the traditional uh, bow and cockpit canvas that comes standard with this boat and it still gives you plenty of room to put additional items in there. In addition, 
The dual battery switch that comes standard on this boat is also located right on the inside wall here. So easy access to the dual battery switch so you can transfer from either the primary or the secondary or put it in the all position and run off both batteries. That's why the standard dual uh, the, uh, battery charger is such a great feature because if you spent all day on the water playing your stereo and enjoy, enjoying the music, you, you come back to your slip or take it home to your garage, just plug it in, charges your batteries overnight. It's a seamless, customer friendly option to help maximize your enjoyment with the boat. So the last feature I'd point out is what I call the tall backrest that wraps into this rear corner seat. Uh, this rear seat is one of the most comfortable locations in the entire cockpit and the reason that is is because of the 16 degree recline angle that we've designed into this cushion but also the height in which we've brought it up so it hits you right below the shoulder blades. It just melts into the seat, really maximizes the comfort and enjoyment of this cockpit. So uh, as you're going to boat shows and looking at other people's product, I'd encourage you sit in all the seats in the cockpit and make sure that every one of them is, uh, is designed for maximum comfort. I think if you do that you'll find that the crown line is definitely positioned and designed in that manner. We're excited about the look and feel of the design of our helm station on our E23 and the uh, E23XS, the sister craft. Let's take a few minutes and talk about this. First, we have a hand-stitched double needle brow uh, that's cast uh, over your two five-inch gauges. Um, one of the nice things about the gauges is that it's got a silver uh, landing and the, your, your, your needles are red tipped so they really stand out off of your gauges for easy read. Also helps uh, even in highest glare situations you can easily read your gauges. Second, we have a GPS uh, additional electronics or GPS landing built into the dash. Now we have options that are available on this boat to add Raymarine A67 uh, or even uh, option up to a 7 inch touchscreen. but what we do is we put a landing for additional electronics standard in the dash so you can tie into the electrical harness if you add some after the fact. We encourage you if you do that to make sure you, you order those direct from the factory because you want them OEM installed. Next thing I'd like to point out is that at your control station, your toggle switches are illuminated. So if any of your switches are in the on position, it easily uh, lights up and illuminates so the driver can quickly reference what may be on or off uh, at the helm station. You also have your premium kick kicker stereo, and that lends itself uh, to your shift panel over here with a built-in armrest. Now at Crownline, we use only premium throttle and shift cables, so they're guaranteed not to kink or bind up. And the last thing I'd like to point out is the bucket seats in our boat. Now these bucket seats can swivel 360, so both the passenger and driver can spin them around and take part in the conversation in the cockpit. Also want to point out the fact that they have flip up bolsters. So uh, this allows you to adjust for differences in height between both the primary or secondary driver of the boat. That way you can easily maneuver the boat even if there's great distances in the height of the two drivers. And the last thing I'd like to point out is also the seat base. Now this is a, what we call a shock absorbing seat base that's designed um, much of the pounding even in the roughest water conditions so that we're always delivering a smooth comfortable ride. Now these features are available on all of our deluxe bucket seats. And how do you tell what is a deluxe bucket seat? And that is anything that comes with the chrome logo. So any of our bucket seats that has that chrome logo on it, that's a deluxe bucket seat. It comes with the flip up bolster, comes with the shock absorbing seat base, it comes with the pedestal that spins 360 and slides forward and aft. We talked several times about the depth of our boats and the fact that they're bigger, deeper and heavier. Uh, and it really shows up in both the floor storage design and also the head compartment. So we wanted to shoot this to have a classic example of exactly what I'm talking about. Again, so it's 6'1", 205 pounds. Um, it's unheard of for somebody my size to easily get in one of the head compartments of a 22 or 23 foot boat. That's what really separates Crownline from its competitors. Again, the depth of the overall uh, cockpit storage and also the head compartment. A couple of things I'd like to point out. One, we have a step down into the head which has got a non-slip mat. So again, if your feet are uh, wet or a little slippery, you never have to worry about slipping or falling as you're stepping down. There's also a floor drain, drains to the bilge and exits the boat. Over here we have a hard uh, granite insert uh, on here and a removable faucet so you can use that uh, handheld shower to actually hose off if you have sand or dirt um, and you can hose off and drains out of the boat and you can actually change your clothes in here. Maybe go have uh, dinner by boat if you've been uh, out in the water enjoying the beach all day. Has an opening port light and also has an on off light. The area is all fully uh, finished and again for, for a head compartment in a 23 foot boat it's unheard of to have this much room and this much convenience. A few of the other value-added standard features I like to point out on this model is one, it's the first full-length stainless steel windshield header. 
the stainless steel windshield lock. And the other nice feature is these flush mount acrylic bow closeout doors. And what, what this is really nice for, again, if you're on the water all day, uh, could be boating and uh, could be 75, 80 degrees during the day and the temperature might d drop to the high 50s at night. And when you're headed back uh, uh, to your hotel room or your slip or your dock, wherever it might be, uh, that cold air comes whistling in through the cockpit. And having the ability to put these closed outdoors in place, close the windshield, and then close off the cockpit and make it a, a complete protected area uh, from, from the cold wind is a great feature, and especially if you've been out in the water all day and you're still a little damp. So please keep that in mind. These are features that we do standard, and it's because uh, our features, uh, our boats are designed by boaters for boaters, and this is one of the key features that we design into all of our E-Series product. So when you remove these again, they're flush mount. They close out here so you, don't, uh, you still have easy access to your walkway and then we transition up to the bow of the boat. We have a fully upholstered bow section. Uh, again, 16 degree lean backs, oversized pillow top headrests, and one of the nice, uh, with articulating armrests, and one of the nice features here I'd like to show again is the hands-free cushions that we have on both sides of the bow. So again, easy access to the storage in the bow, uh, great way to put items in and out without having to worry about how you're gonna support the cushions. It allows you to really do a couple of other things while you're in the boat and besides just loading and unloading. So again, we design these in as real comfort and convenience features. And then that gives way to the forward cushion, which is removable, uh, that uh, gives access to your 25 quart carry-on cooler. So again, when it's not in place, it snaps back down and then this cushion fits in place. And someone my size, uh, a little over six foot, 200 plus pounds, and again, can comfortably sit out in the bow. Full length stainless steel bow rails, always uh, within reach, so it's easy to grab and hold on to. Uh, you have your combing boxes and your sidewall storage with both cup holders and your wet sound splash proof speakers designed into the cockpit. And the last feature I point out is just this little bracket. The portable cockpit table is standard on this boat. So you, it's set up that you can use it either in the bow or the cockpit. So you can have basically dinette areas in both the forward or the uh, cockpit portion of the boat. So these are really nice features and how to maximize the space and the layout of this E-Series bow. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick walk around video on our E-23. So if you're in the market uh, for a 23-foot boat, I would encourage you to watch this video and also the video on the sister craft, the E-23 XS, which is the outboard version. Now one other question I'd like to address before uh, we leave you here today is what is the difference between our E-23 and our E-22 that's also in, in the product line. And I want to just take a quick uh, minute or two to answer those questions. There's really five distinct differences between the E-23 and the E-22. Number one, it's six inches longer and that additional space is all in the cockpit. Number two, the full length stainless steel windshield header is standard on the E-23, which it is not on the E-22. Number three, the E-23 has the electric seat base where the E-22 has a three position manual. Number four, um, the E-23 has a social twin transom design. The E-22 does not. And lastly, the E-23 comes standard with both a battery charger and also has a completely new upholstery design. So those are really the differences between the E-22 and the E-23. But because of the growing market, and specifically in the E-22 and E-23 foot segment of the market, we wanted to maintain the, the broadest spectrum of product offerings in that section of the market. We think we deliver that uh, with our E-22, E-23, and the outboard version.